telekinesis powers. Welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Getting it on with my gear VR. Getting, getting it on with my gear VR. Getting it on with my gear VR. Getting, getting it on with my gear VR. Let's do it. Too silly? Too silly? Too much? Too much? Too silly? Alright, sorry. Sorry. Try this again. Today on Reality Check VR is getting it on with this gear VR. We're going to be playing Land's End. That's right. Land's End. Land's End is a VR adventure from the creators of Monument Valley. Set against spectacular landscapes, the player is tasked with awakening an ancient civilization using the powers of their mind. Land's End combines us two games, award-winning approach to interactive storytelling with Samsung Gear VR, creating an incredible virtual reality experience that you can take anywhere. Land's End is available now in the Oculus Store. Let's jump in right now. Here we are, getting it on with our Gear VR, playing Land's End, and honestly, this is uh, pretty exciting because th I liked Monument Valley uh, a lot, so just want to see a little bit of this game. It says, it's kind of very odd, if you can't turn freely whilst sitting, whilst, whilst, stand or use a controller, please turn around when ready. Look here, okay. Uh, what's also what's what's also interesting now? You've got actually a recording. Uh, you got a recording icon now. You can't see it, but I've got a little red icon in there that tells me I'm recording. It's about time. That's great. Land's End is best played with headphones. I'm very excited to have that little recording dot in there. Ready? Yes, I am ready. Land's End. I'm sorry, you have to see the back of my chair for the most part. I didn't didn't expect it to be this way. Okay, yep, tr truly is. We're, we're going this direction. I might, I might as well. Might as well move the mic this way then, right? Wish you guys might have a chance to hear Perfect. me. That looks huh? great right now. Very smooth, very smooth. It's got kind of a nice smoothing system. It gently slows you, it gently brings you to speed. Beautiful. This is like a a traveling, beautiful experience that you can kind of go at your own pace. Oh, oh. I'm not sure where I'm at right now. Huh. I guess I'm back where I started. Traveling along in Land's End. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going back the wrong way. What am I... Guys, yeah, there we go. All right, back on track now. I love it when the game's like this. Anytime you're outside, uh, not only do you have to have the nice cool sound effects of the water and everything like that, but the, the fact that they've got those little birds flying about, you know, come on. Those birds are just, they make it happen. They make it happen. Can't. Oh, whoa. So, connect, 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 connect. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of cute. Nice little no touch, no touch, uh, GUI. Sometimes I want to use the, I've got the red dot telling me where I'm recording, and sometimes I want to use that as my, my piece to move. Oh, hello birds. Wait, I don't remember which, I think I go this way. I just came from there, so. Another puzzle, huh? Hmm. Okay, triangle face. Or, I guess it'd be, it'd be rectangle face with Triangle I. Um, start there, right? You go. No? 
Yes. Okay, that was simple enough, right? Simple enough. We got this. I like this experience so far. It's simple, it's it's neat, it does not make you sick at all. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't even once think about the fact that I didn't have positional tracking because, you know, they don't put anything really close up front, in front of you so you don't think about it, which is nice. I'm just assuming that I need to get the ball closest to the main circle. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that, and so far it's working, so we're gonna go with that. Try to get the try to get the ball closest to the circle. It's the best way to do it. I, th I think I just want to get to the top of this hill. All right, if we get to the top of the hill, there better be like snacks and Kool Aid up there. Kool Aid. Kool Aid's only for cool kids. Oh. Oh. Okay. Check it. Check it. I'm ready to do this. Check it, Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. So do I have to go at a certain time? I wonder if I need to go. I think I think I just go now. Okay. There we go. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> this game's good. This game's good. Uh, the water. I'm, I'm, I'm very amazed at how well they've done the water. The water looks great in here. They've got this polygon style, and then you look over and you've got this beautiful water that... A lot of other games can't even uh, seem to seem to do. All right, uh, just because I need to know where I'm at in the room physically, I can go this way, no problem. Okay. At this point, it is, as always, triangle. No crossing streams, right? There's no crossing streams. That's all. Maybe that's it. We just can't cross the stream because that one's certainly. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. No joke. Every time you get an experience like that, where something's like looking like it's gonna fall on you and you're in VR, it's it's a fun experience. I'm gonna flip this way. And uh, if you're playing this at home, you can just spin freely in your chair. Uh, I'm, I've got cables trying to record the audio, so that's why I'm. What the heck is that? That's a little odd. Oh, really? This is a this is an interesting experience. Uh, I know my wife would like playing this. It would make her feel very cool to figure out the puzzles and to move on and it's Okay, lands in chapter two of five. That's not bad. Let's try to let's try to do at least chapter two as well because uh, I know eventually when you're recording, a lot of times the the phone wants to overheat. But I, I'm pretty confident we could, we could probably do probably do one more. We could get one more done without fail. I'm sure the puzzles get harder and harder. Okay, so we're at this point now. All right. Oh yeah, this is cool. <laughs> so can I? Yeah, that's awesome. Look at it. I love the weight feeling of it. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm telekinesis. <laughs> that's right. Let's fly through it. Here we go. Flying through. Sorry, I know, every time I sing, I watch it later, and if I'm editing a video, I'm like, why am, why am I singing? And I'll tell you why. Because if I'm by myself, <laughs> that's what I would do. My wife hates my singing. Or loves it, and just doesn't want to tell me, so... Um, whatever. We're gonna do some songs. Oh, no, 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 not yet. no, don't, don't pick up the whole thing. Put it down. Okay, I guess just pick up the whole thing. Telekinesis power. No, the top ship moving. Don't, don't. Yes. Just in case I need you later. I want you all moving. 
Yeah, they, I think I think you could have individually taken them all off one by one, but why would you? Why individually take them off if I could just pull the bottom one? Um, I feel like getting here in a or between a rock and a hard place, right? Yeah, actually, it reminds me of a never-ending story. I don't know why. Is there a part of Never Ending Story where they go in some really small places like that? Or maybe it's a different kids movie. Nice ambiance, nice music. Uh, I mean, the one nice thing is that because you've got the nice shores, you've got like the seagull sounds in the distance and everything, and very immersive. Certainly want to play this with headphones or else you're not going to feel it as much. Well, I am, I am concerned that that makes no sense. Except for, boom. Nice job, telekinesis. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, okay, looks like we need to get, we need to engage both of them. I should have seen that coming, huh? All right, we can do this. No problem, no problem. I'm, I, sometimes I don't want to talk loud. I forget I'm using my other microphone and I'm somewhat used to even using the Rift microphone, which is like right here in the Rift. I'm not sure you can't see me yet. Uh, so the Rift microphone's like right there, right? So if I talk at that, it's like, ah, you just you fill your ears. All right, so when you can pick it up, you can rotate it. That one probably, all right, that one has to be picked up first. Use your telekinesis powers. Freaking brilliant. Telekinesis. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, That's right. Yes. All right, we're gonna make this thing spin, and we're gonna fly on out of here. Woohoo! Totally worth getting this game, especially if you've got a significant other and uh, they're not necessarily into VR games. This is a great introduction game for you know uh, just VR likers and non-VR liker lovers. VR lovers and non-VR lovers to get into. And of course, as you can see, the screen is gone and uh, the little circular thing was spinning, which means you can go to the next area or maybe there is even more in that level. I don't really know exactly. But what I do know is that if you'd like to see more, just let me know and I will certainly uh, play some more chapters. Um, but if you have a Gear VR and, and or a Samsung phone, then uh, make sure you get on uh, on downloading this application. Uh, it's you know it's, I know it's less than ten dollars. Saved. Okay, cool. It did tell me that it saved my spot, so I am saved in there. Um, but as I said, it, it is worth it. It is worth having. It's a beautiful little little game, and and it looks pretty polished around. They've got five chapters that you can run around. Um, it looks like it's probably just maybe a little under two hours worth of time, um, depending on how you do with the puzzles. So. Uh, anyway, that is the review for the Land's End, that, as far as what I've seen, um, I, I really do enjoy it. So, getting it on with my PBR. Until next time, bye.